So then please generate the correct motivation for the session. And uh, well, the motivation that wishes to achieve the enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. <coughs> So if, if, if we uh, generate uh, virtues or not in our mind, it depends a lot on, uh, on our motivation. So yeah, it's the same uh, topic as this morning, the generation of uh, yeah, the mind of enlightenment or the wish to achieve Buddhahood. So, so then, uh, yeah, to generate happiness, um, happiness uh, on a temporary level and also happiness on an ultimate level, and to use those techniques to obtain those uh, two aims uh, from the point of view of the view of reality as well as uh, the aspects of behavior that uh, one acts in a particular way and has a particular view in order to achieve uh, the benefit of self and others. Mm. Jiwukuni so then, yeah, the methods, yeah, so to say, to uh, achieve those aims we just talked about of temporary and ultimate happiness. Um, one of the methods, of course, uh, generating more kindness, and the other aspect is the view. And then, regarding that point, we have things with regards to the basis of, of phenomena, like, for example, the two truths. And then the, the, the parts, 
uh, referring to method and wisdom, and then the results uh, as achieving the bodies of a Buddha. So yeah, we talk about two truths, the conventional truth and ultimate truth, uh, to be understood in order to progress on the path. So yeah, we have a kind of um, few things to, to look at. Yeah, we talked about the basis of the two truths and the, the parts of method and wisdom and the achievement of the bodies of the Buddha. And then we have to start with the basis, right? As we talked about the house or the foundation. foundation. So we start with the basis of the two truths. Uh, to understand the conventional reality and to understand ultimate reality. In a similar way, in order to achieve Buddhahood, we also have to contemplate the Four Noble Truths. And that was the first teaching of the Buddha. Yeah? So then the Buddha, when he taught the Four Noble Truths, then he said we should know suffering, we should abandon the cause of suffering, and we should uh, meditate on the paths and manifest the cessation. Right. 
So uh, by looking in those aspects of the Four Noble Truths, then we can see there are conventional realities and there are ultimate realities with regards to the Four Noble Truths. Um, the, the parts refers to the meditation on, on ultimate truths and the cessation refers to an aspect of, of, of um, sorry, the cessation yeah, refers to an aspect of ultimate truth. And then the first two truths are more classified into the conventional realities of suffering and the cause of suffering. So in order to achieve this uh, precious state of cessation, yeah, the cessation of uh, afflictions, that by having a cessation of the afflictions, then also we have a cessation of suffering. And uh, there is a possibility for our minds to uh, accomplish that. So that's a very profound and uh, very fortunate and precious aspect to have a mind that is free of afflictions, to have this truth of cessation in your continuum of consciousness. So how do we accomplish that truth of cessation? How do we accomplish a mind that is free of afflictions? Uh, by following the true paths. Yeah? So the true paths is the cause for the true cessation to come about. Uh, because it's cause and effect related, and by doing so, we have the right method to eliminate suffering and the cause of suffering. And with the true paths, we have to understand the view of ultimate reality or emptiness. And the ultimate reality or view of emptiness we understand by the power of conventional truth of dependent origination. In a similar way, the Buddha followed these kind of instructions and generated a bodhicitta and then uh, contemplated emptiness and then uh, accomplished the, 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 two, the truth of cessation in the true paths and then eventually achieved enlightenment and then taught what we know as the three turnings of the wheel, of the Dharma, uh, of, of the, first, the first noble truths and then uh, the view of emptiness and then doing the third turning, the, the view of, of the clear light mind. So the three turnings and also in relation with the two aspects of the teachings, the common part of the Sutra and the uncommon part of the Vajrayana or Tantra. And then also uh, with regards to the Buddha potential or Tathagata Garbha uh, of the potential of our clear light mind to go all the way up to enlightenment. So looking at these teachings and seeing that we are extremely fortunate and seeing that these teachings are very, very precious, um, so precious that we can eliminate suffering completely. Yeah, so that's kind of a very uh, fortunate situation we have. And by depending on these teachings, we can achieve liberation and even Buddhahood can be obtained. So we should have uh, a feeling that, that, that in one way is, is rejoicing in these incredible fortunate situations we have regarding having met these precious teachings and uh, not only rejoice, but also have strong faith in this teaching and, uh, teachings and then try to uh, proceed uh, like the Buddha in the, in the path to uh, liberation and enlightenment. So, <laughs> で、ทอกมาตบตะมาบุซิรวะเดซังกุนซบเตมบิงอนิงโกรอเดนิทันดัมเตมบาเซนะตะกุนซบเตมบาเกรังจีนเดรังจีนเดทันดัมเตมบาโม
Ani Pangjata Drupche Nisu Yungani Ani Lamji Temba Sun Karjuguru Wata Lamji Temba Se Karse Kunzobda Dini Tundam Ni Nisu Yawo Se Chesuna Ani Te Shirap Tang Tongba Niji Ani Tapu Drozi Chandu Dor Jetembani Lam Tapshi Ni Devu Kuni Lale, any Tapshi Tini de Anni Mus, and Devu Kuni de Ta Chugutopji, any Tanam Dembaji, Modishi Deva, any Zuku, Beme Hundu Semji, Nonsu, Topji, any Gunzubi Temba, Kajuguruta, Tini de Ta Gunzub Dimbing on the Yungoa Inza, D Topchela, Topchala, Taji. Simji and come the mebe, some nigabla, then a lamjibi sutta, touchy bangangi sutta, no compassia reserva. Any shirup, ye toji, any tabby chude, any a kajuguruta, chanjugi sim down, tongban tiki ting money, any shirup ye to the tongban ye jet, any tabby chu money, any chanjugi sim going up, any job at Zachimbo. Tawa Chinji Malova, Joba Chinji Malova, Dini, Zunger Chin. Dini, Zungu Yingola, Ya, Kale, Kale, Dini, Numon, Tesodema, Nuru, Rachi, Chenu, Chenu, Sonam, you saw, the Yishi, you saw, Tesode, any Cheger, Cheger, ya, Sayun Dutena, then a Mazugi, Ni, come, Tishini, Voya, Giala, Ni, ya, Nivo, Rose, Chandra. So yeah, uh, we need to study and understand, first of all, the, the two truths, right? We have to understand the conventional truth and the ultimate truth. And then by itself, that um, with understanding those truths, we can understand reality. So it's a very profound aspect of the Buddhist teaching. And our minds, for example, is, is an aspect of, of conventional truth. And we see the different states of mind, of, of conceptualities. And, and afflictions coming and going. So that's kind of an aspect of conventional truth. But our mind is also an aspect of the ultimate truth, that um, that's when we understand dependent origination, we also understand that there is this ultimate truth of emptiness of our mind. And that can be understood by understanding uh, the view of dependence uh, or the view of dependent origination. And there's different levels, as you know. We have the cause and effect relationships. We have dependence on parts and a collection of parts and, and being merely imputed by the mind. So in order, when we understand one way, when we understand dependent origination, we understand, we'll understand emptiness. When we understand emptiness, then also our understanding of the conventional truth in these uh, three levels of dependent origination will also be more profound. So in, in our behavior, first of all, of, of our body, speech and mind kind of behavior and attitudes, we have to focus upon what we should abandon and what we should accomplish and, and use for that purpose wisdom to understand those aspects. In a similar way, uh, we strive to, to increase our wisdom to understand emptiness and the ultimate truth of reality. And then that can be done or that can be understood by the power of the basis of the two truths. Uh, the parts of method and wisdom, and then the results or accomplished uh, ultimate accomplishments of, of the bodies of a Buddha, or you could say accomplishing the mind of the Buddha, the all-knowing mind of the Buddha, and the form body of a Buddha to benefit beings. So in order to come to that state of Buddhahood, initially, uh, we as sentient beings, we have to, first of all, uh, observe the karma, uh, of the karma of law of cause and effect, and by doing so, uh, try to abandon negative deeds and accomplish virtues. And then we use uh, to try to generate the mind of bodhicitta. And we also said that bodhicitta should be mixed with uh, the view of reality or, or the wisdom of emptiness. And then if we have accomplished those aspects, then we can have a union of the two, the union of the view and the union of our behavior. And if we progress in that way, then we were able to accumulate uh, the right, right amount of merits and the right amount of wisdom, and then we will accomplish the state of, of the Buddha, or, or the essence, so to say, of the mind of the Buddha. So, 
시럽디라만다피주당디치오케레와이나디니수수기시니테바토리치치오케마레와이나디니아스치난기아스스파주도야리아스스스미쿠쿠양보스미헬스미시데지야지드시몽보스케상요와인자아니시럽다만다피주당
and then uh, we think about the, the fortunate situation we have with, with having obtained the precious human rebirths with the freedoms and endowments, yeah, the eight freedoms and ten endowments, then also we should, we should use wisdom to analyze these 18 aspects of the precious human rebirth, having freedom and endowments. And then we see that when we have all these conditions, we have the right conditions to progress. Uh, because not every person, not every human being, has a precious human rebirth, as we know. So uh, it's very important to see that we right now we have the, the freedoms and endowments, and not only just seeing that you have the freedoms and endowments, but also contemplating that it's extremely difficult to obtain. And not only difficult to obtain, but also has great meaning. Yeah, if you have the fortune situation of a precious human rebirth, but you're just confused about things and you don't really put things into practice, then there is no great meaning to the precious human rebirth. So we have to take the essence, so to say, to accomplish uh, this great meaning of the precious human rebirth we have at the moment. And we have to take the ultimate essence out of it, and then we can refer to bodhicitta and emptiness. So we should focus on those two aspects. And we focus on those aspects uh, as we try to see all sentient beings as, as uh, very precious, and also seeing that we have obtained this incredible fortune situation of the precious human rebirth, which is so difficult to find and has great meaning. Yeah, you can find these aspects also back in, in the Lambrim kind of uh, literature that we uh, that explains in great detail, right? There's 18 freedoms and endowments. And um, that's kind of an important aspect to, to contemplate. And then also to contemplate that we should not uh, have been very short-sighted. We should have a vast vision and uh, really have this precious human rebirth with a great meaning. And this vast vision should then focus upon liberation and enlightenment, right? That's the vast vision we should have in order to make this uh, precious human rebirth meaningful and to accomplish the great meaning of it. And that we do by generating bodhicitta and uh, understanding and contemplating emptiness with the wisdom understanding emptiness. And then if you follow that part, then our Presumer rebirth becomes extremely fortunate because then you take the essence, then you take the great meaning out of it. Because this presumer rebirth we have obtained right now is not going to last forever. As we know, it's in the nature of impermanence. And another aspect we should contemplate is, is the law of cause and effect of karma. Yeah? Although adventitious aspects of, of, um, aspects of suffering and, and happiness, but right now we have the right conditions having obtained a precious human rebirth to create the right causes for happiness and eliminate the causes for suffering. So having obtained the, the right causes and conditions of this extremely precious human rebirth, we also know that even if you have obtained 100 years at the time of birth, then we know now at the moment there's not much left. So that we have to contemplate impermanence in order to motivate ourselves and try to take the essence out of this incredible precious uh, situation we have at the moment. Mm, and Tobby, <laughs> Mount 
Ranji, Tilishinan, so was reader. Da? Chasing Jovo Machina, Madame Ranji, Yongadoa. Dan de young, that she go and there young, and a jee, Mane Tane. Da young, the Nichima Laji. Not a seminar. Any casual than Garni, Tadafadu, Maumbalayan, Donyaji Simsi, Mazuki Simlaya de, Ludi, Katrini, Namshi, Layazi, Nitsi, Yoa Inza, D. Tingne. Tanda, so Lindel, Yum to Divi, Cablaina, Sorva Tungi, Sova Deva, Laji, Sorva Nyang India, Sandy, Sheva de Inza, De young Ludi the Kaja do, Yang Ludi, Rodang, and Sheva T, eh, Yang, Koran, Jeva Jenda Jena, Rogadi, Dendrigi, Sim, Inanda Sheva di Kala, Tangazo, Pacha Zangi, and Shayati, Je, and Namjur, Tang. Tinichi, draw a cum, dramata, and num tungi, semagi, lazy number music. Young Tigdoa, and a low sukala, and she Kajuru, Niawazone, make up a pozigi, and Joseph Kesari Medoa, then Semedawan, Legion de Nisi, Namjangani, and go Kajurata, Nunjurta, go Kurmabo, Legion Namja drama to the Yova Inza, and Mazugi. Long I use some diggy thing la, Pacha Zam Pemberton, Deva, Taibi, Simjin, Tamjila, and Bay, and Zewa Lana Meva. Then I gig any bay, Semba, Zambo, Trambo. Any sheep, she pitched on you, didn't get such a boozy, gave his sonum, Luna, Yisumida, sonum chatty, Yonso, Soba di, Sorba Deva, Pacha. Then Dini, and it make you. Anji, Naxim, Nusim, Logda, Trado, Jena, Nebachia, Trado, and Jensim, and then Dindrigi, Pacha, Jaya, Jugi, Naminde, and go, Jig, Maso, Munga, Nona, and Carzuruda, Pesha, Jig, Jova Naji, Matuji, Sengam, Tikala, Pacha, Jaja, Gdua, Pacha, Della, Dene, Dini, Digi, Pacha, Seldo, D, Anji, Taji. Rig drum under said de la mini, a yan say, Mamba la mini, Taco, Jujin Natula, Dendela Duny, you were in Zane, Tahanda Lichi, what did you, Mazuba? Did the Inzan, Lichun de Zoedia, and she did think of a busy girl, Majava. And in the Taza, Mazuki be, Namdo is young, get draw down in Masola, chick, carsor chick, luxus or a chick, drums or a mahimba, Susuki Luna is in the Namjur money. De Yimba de. So, Tora, Niri Tora Nola, Semba Zambo, Midi, and the Semba Zambo, Trambo, Shirap Chimboyana, Midi Din Gunji, Midi Yarab, and the Midela Trangi, and the Midela Roba Mambo, and the Yichi Chia, and the Mikoranina, so what they are on Bajik, so what Dungiji Chajina, Koraniji Jaya, Zabachi Chini, and the Zavachi Chini, Sama, Pudichunga Yova Yinzang, then Nekam Nireto, Kichi Gila, Ran la Pendeo, Jen la Pendeo. Then he Tartuina, she drew the oop, Marche, Rulitanala, and the Sheba Tiki Dingle, Lej Topje, Les Zamboyana, and the Pacha Zambo Zachembo, Lamilide, Jingam Dramanda, and the Mena, and the Bay Kajuru Tachi, Susugi, Jerem the Zorum Zachembo, did the Timoma in Basanga, she cheered and Donga Yonso, where he told Jinny Comchiguna, and Ma parto sem tramo 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 yoze iting la and desu de zachimbo shen rangji rang to bi ngane de ni karzu rong ngombal namju masel wa diya sel ni ni yonsu zogo ya namju maso timba ji ni ma trip de na de ni timba di trip sa ni ni ma di yoze ro ola pushya ge maru ba ina ni ma sha sha ro ba de sun zang rikwe rang dang desu de yan jie ni de zachimbo sanji ro yoze ra ni timba lo di karzu sa ni ta ni. Then the chin. This one's a Tesuji, Pachai, Dobji, Dimena, the Bachimbo, the Sa, Halibiji, Dini, Yakunjula Jim, Yachimani, Mang, and on a Jimani, then this is Sana Sai Judas, any called Namiji, Jehomi Rowan, Yetazora Terida, 
那看到的人也多，这种自己能看得出来的，就听别人的，这个多啊，那你老人呢，这么自己，年少，开始有个肉，前面打完雷军的，你说那呢，那明天呢，就读书时读完这些，给准备吧，这种写了，说说写上，
they sometimes ripen in this life and sometimes they can ripen in future lifetimes. As we know, in Buddhism, we don't really believe in a creator as such. Yeah? Karma or the law of cause and effect, that is our future. So we have the future in our hands and we are responsibility. We, we are responsible for our own future. And then each day we try to generate a kind of kindness or, or generate a kind of attitude of being honest and be good and nice. And then if you do that in that way, even on a worldly perspective, you will have many friends and other people will respect you. So even on a worldly perspective, these qualities of kindness, honesty, and practicing patience and wisdom, then there's benefit uh, for self and others. So we should focus in that direction to develop our mind in that direction. Because when we die, then the mind continues. Then on top of that, for those who have a connection with the Vajrayana, then there are very sophisticated systems of the clear light mind of death that, that, that then dance at the time of death and that can then be used to progress in the stages of power to enlightenment. Because as we know, the, the clouds of the afflictions, when they're not there or when you're beyond the clouds, then you have the clear sky uh, with a bright sun. So that's very similar to our mind, that the stains of the afflictions are not an inner part of the mind, and there's this clarity of, of the sun pervading the sky. And then also the clouds we can see as, as adventitious or temporarily obscurations and imprints, yeah? but behind that there's this blue sky with the brightness of the sun. So we should focus upon those points, because if we just waste our human life and, and create uh, only negative karma, then we just create the, the suffering in the future by experiencing the ripening effects. So we should contemplate how this cycle of existence is going around uh, in, in the six realms of, of samsara. And then we try to develop our mind and then try to understand how to progress and to prevent ourselves from falling into lower states of rebirth. Uh, and that's not just a kind of an, an unconstructive form of fear, but that's a fear of the suffering of the lower rebirths that is joined with, with wisdom and, and knowing that there is a method to prevent suffering in the future, right? So that's a very constructive uh, way to understand there's a method to stop suffering. And then by knowing that method to stop suffering, then we should focus upon others and generate compassion for them. And that will be the cause for the development of bodhicitta. And then joined this bodhicitta with, with uh, wisdom, realizing emptiness, then we progress very quickly on the path to enlightenment. So that's certain aspects we really have to understand correctly uh, as we like to follow the Buddhist teaching, teachings in that way. Mm. <laughs> Love <laughs> Carjurda, <laughs> Lama Kunzuri 
So yeah, we should focus and look upon these points and, and see the benefits of, of uh, Nirvana or achieving liberation. And in order to get there, based on understanding the benefits, we should also study the various qualities and possibilities of achieving it and using precious reasons to, to develop a mind in that direction to achieve liberation. So it's not just like reading a newspaper or something like that. It's kind of depending on, on certain causes and conditions to move our mind in a particular direction. So one of those causes and conditions is, uh, of course, the virtuous friend or, or the teacher. Yeah? And then we should examine initially uh, the teacher, the Lama, uh, very well. And that's all the different qualifications are, are mentioned in the various texts. But yeah, you can think about, of course, the minimum aspects is, is bodhicitta and understanding or realization of emptiness because emptiness will help us to stop suffering yeah so we need a person to rely upon who is capable of explaining how to stop suffering with an understanding of emptiness and then also of course the, the motivation of, of bodhicitta or love and kindness and compassion are the conventional aspects of, of, of the qualifications and then we should uh, generate by seeing those qualities in the teacher then we should generate a kind of fate in the teacher. And that is kind of a correct uh, way of approach. Because, of course, there's many high lamas and, and many precious teachers, and certain have great names or, or, or long names or, or, or have a big name and a lot of money, but that's maybe not the real lama we, we have to look for. Uh, but we strive to depend on a person who is uh, using aspects in a, in a way to benefit others so without being attached to, to the worldly concerns. And then by relying on a person like that, also it's important in general to, to um, look at one's own faults and the qualities of honor, others and to generate kind of a mind that is honest and, and, and generates a kind of kindness. <laughs> To Dindregi, 
Yeah,ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ。ジャブロバメバティニ
um, who are Buddhist, even for sometimes for 15 years, but they don't really understand what are exactly the three jewels of reference. What does it mean to be a Buddha? What is a Dharma jewel? Yeah, what is the truth of cessation? What are the true paths? Yeah, the true cessation and true paths are referring to the actual Dharma jewel, as you know. And uh, what is then the Sangha? Yeah, so it's very important to get a clear understanding of the three jewels of refuge. When we have that understanding, then also we know we ourselves can accomplish those aspects. So we know the, our you know, objects of accomplishment. Then we try to understand these aspects and try to take control over our mind and, and uh, put these aspects of uh, refuge and advice that is given after taking refuge into practice. And then we generate a kind of faith. And by doing so, then we try to uh, have the kind of more compassionate uh, attitude or the mind of bodhicitta. And then we should think that all our activities of our body, speech and mind, we basically like to offer uh, to all sentient beings. Mm. Sushi Tabatana Chilukunjechi, <laughs> Nanga, <laughs> Karijuguruta, <laughs> Ani Tini, Jamjo needs you and the red door. 
te yin zang a zo su zu yin lam a yak ho zi te de ni chi luk zang bu ling chi luk lai na ka ma dang wa chi lam a lai na wu ne chen ni su su te ba da yi chi nang zi yi an ni zang bu ling de la chung ri mi yin an ni a zo an ni chi san ji chi chi luk la de ni a ka ju ro da ni yin ma ka ju zang sa chi ge lo la ni da ma bo zi yu de ro wa di Pul tarin ngam zi chung rim zam zi rim ado tini <hesitation> ta tan yin zam zi rim ado chan juk zim <hesitation> tar bada tam zi chim bi kong ba dur dang che ko ya yong zi zong ko chi bi chi jang di dun ba chi gi tini <hesitation> din chi chama yin zang di kara sung zang sam ngi bi te ba tang na jang ni ta chan juk zim bi dur ba kana ngi chun ni ha ba ko ma dur ba chan juk zim bi dur ba nda ma dur yo ba yin zang ni so so chung na te ba tang na jang te ma chung na Ene ji mi sunda ji la ina sim na ni puk tuk ma dang a ji kura ma dang a ji be di be mi si ke ji mo ji ndo di ngazo ji ya ji ri do wa di ngazo ji tok ji a ji ji wa ina ane lengi sap ji mo ji yo di di sa do ya ni nga yo za ngazo ji ji ya ba su ji ji di la ane te ba tang nang ji di ji tuk ma ndo na ko di kang ji ha ko ma ji di ni ngazo la Pa mela jun ta yai ji mi gi nga so la yai ri rang jun to yai mi gi yai ma ri ba ta di di yai wo san do dan ni wo ni ta ni rang ji yin kun pen do da de wa yi che do la di ni to ni de chen shi chen be zin chan ju sim de chen be zin ta yi be sim jen tam ji la an ni ji ngen ji chan ju sim la wa yi nan ra pi ba che jun ni zin an ni so so kur che lo dan ngen che lo dan sim cha che lo ji tik ba jin ba ku la ya dan tik ba Chen bo tik ba chung ngo la ya tu zidi sim cha chil lo dang gen chil lo zidi nam zang ngani nung ko ro wa sim ka zi zi cha chin bo kong ba zi tu ba yin na ti zi zi mi ti zi yun dang chia yu ro wa yin na zi zin dang chia yu ri ti yi ting ne chan ju yi sim ko miya la lap chia tan chia so then um, yeah wisdom as we come to that again and again It's extremely important in order to generate a stable kind of uh, fate, yeah, a fate that is extremely stable uh, with regards to the teacher, with regards to the, the three jewels of refuge, and in particular uh, with regards to the Dharma jewel. Yeah? And then when we really generate fate based on reasoning, then these aspects of the path become extremely precious. Yeah? We need fate in these aspects and also we should rejoice. In, in other beings' good deeds and, and also understand that all beings without exception have the Tathagata Karba or the Tathagata essence, uh, the Buddha potential that abides in the continuity of all sentient beings without exception. So that means that all beings, they have this kind of potential to become a Buddha. And also the Buddha's activities, the vast enlightened activities of the Buddha also uh, are to be found in every direction. Uh, so that's an important aspect in order to generate fate in the Dharma in general, and in particular in the Three Jewels. Then it's also important to have respect for the different schools within Buddhism, or re respect to any form of religion or faith, generally speaking. Of course, for us, the Three Jewels might be the, the, the part, but that doesn't imply that it's for everybody. So we should have kind of respect for other forms of traditions and, and, and religions as well. Because if we don't do that and we just follow our afflictions, when it's then rooted in, in, in holding or apprehension of a self, then there is a great danger of, of, of afflictions to be generated and negative karma to be created. So it's very important to know this aspect of the Buddhist path, to know about the three jewels, to study them and understand them, to know about law of cause and effect and karma and generate faith in that reality. That's extremely important because as many of us would do deity yoga or generation and completion states practices, but it's all very precious and, and extremely uh, profound. But if you don't have the knowledge and the faith in these practices, then it doesn't carry out the potential it has. So it's very important to have different types of refuge. Yeah? We sometimes talk about outer refuge, inner refuge, secrets and the refuge of dustness. So also those aspects in the part are very important to be understood. And of course, there are different people with different interests and different inclinations, and that's also exactly why there are different schools and, and different forms of faith. And even in Buddhism, we see different kind of um, schools 
or different traditions. Yeah? So it's very important to check and analyze well and see which tradition or which aspect of the teaching benefits your mind. That's very important to do. And in a similar way, when we depend on medication, if a particular medication doesn't benefit you, then you put that medication aside. Right? So we should have a similar approach with regards to the Buddhist doctrine. And then depend uh, on, on uh, eventually we can depend on a particular teacher and then generate faith in that particular teacher and uh, try to avoid any form of negative deeds to be created. Yeah, not even also that includes not criticizing other traditions. Yeah, in Tibet, as you know, we have Nyingma, Kagyu, Sakya, and Geluk, for example, and those different traditions they all aim to achieve enlightenment. So they have slightly different methods, but they all have the same goals. And based on that understanding, we should generate the faith and have respect for the different traditions. Because we don't know. We just simply don't know if a person of a particular tradition or a lineage master of a particular tradition is an emanation of a bodhisattva or not. We simply just don't know. So we should prevent negative karma from being created because it definitely will bring results in the future. And good advice regarding those aspects is also to, although we like to look at the faults of others and like to hide our own faults, but it's very essential to reverse that and, and to more mainly focus upon your own faults and, and by doing so to transform your mind. And then on top of that transformation, then try to uh, generate the precious mind of bodhicitta and take the responsibility for all sentient beings without exception. And of course, there's different traditions in Buddhism, right? We have Theravada, Theravada tradition, we have the Mayana tradition, and there are differences in the motivations, uh, for example, in, and that's why we, in, in the, the aspect of aspiration of, of bodhicitta, right? We, we try to focus upon uh, the benefit of all sentient beings and take responsibility, and then with that responsibility, uh, join that with wisdom in order to progress on the spiritual path to enlightenment. Lesson, <laughs> Nisulokapsankazuyumi. <laughs> Missy Lavaina, Dini, Rangi, Karis, Lani Jore, Parchin Tu, Lani Jorwa. Ta Mus, Jugala, Parchin Tu Ye, and Susuki, Karju Tichena, any Karjuru 
Perezina, Parchin to Dorazina, that's Chidang, Jigden Yonda Yon, Yon, the Yavaz Shibudo. That's a design jumbling the pecola tickle, some tiny winds, oh, that, ah, Mazu, some ye, Jimbatania. Sure, it's how much you look, some of your day. Then it's Sebachi and do, Sundichi and do, then it's Sudanso and do, and something going on, Halebe, but Miss Zachimotid do. The Samolo, she repeated on the Chiguri. The Samolo do. Any design changes, or what's a chill of Chiguri? Ah, that's a day, natural la de, recurrent day. Sung it doa. Parod Tarabata, Tamjichin, be combala, and it drew two drum, maturum, laiadi, lorida, Rindua. Sanji jumped in deje, and it dumbaji, Susugi, jumped in the Tunganina, Chu Tamji de Conanji, Nitu. Tamjiji, the corner nigging ala, and the tail of Poya. These Sanji jumped in the Baji Mado, number Sanji Harsuru, the Chulujina no Medua, Dinjuji, the corner nigging. Ding, Nisuji, Jundrejin, gained the sum of puncture, Suzuki punk to the drip to raise. Dinjuji, the corner nigger, so me, and the Tarva Trevi in the city, then eh, Lakbardola, Simi, Ranji, Ursava, Mata with Doxo in Yosova. Tawa, is she run a re sunya de Sanji Jum de Deji? When you reach the cock, you reach your corner mother, Zamadish, and it? The Bajenda, Nambaji, soon on the the sons are Mundrandin on the Mandazi, Jimsen the Dene, and it parching in the loo, and it same jinji nene, paruccini, carriguru, par cavadore, tabe comba, tabe comba, tobala. She repeated the chunga, Tomba Niji, and it jabbing on it, and it Niji jay, Tomba Niji jabbing on it, and Jimbatania. Go Tomba Niji, and it, eh, Sutum Sonia, Zubachia, some day, last of you parching to thee, Gomba D, ding name, and it shit D, Tarbata, one of the door. Chanjus and bits, Zion do, come to Jimmy Gomba, Dini, the Tapshi, Zondresin, and it chased you to soon do. How live it's Achimbo? Then, Masogi Gale Kayaji So, yeah, we should focus upon the, the benefits of, uh, first of all, of refuge and, and um, follow the advice after having taken refuge and then using the wisdom and then depending on the teacher. And then uh, we should understand and, and study the different traditions. Because if we don't use this kind of aspect of wisdom and, and education in, in that direction, then basically we're missing out. So it's very important to use the wisdom and understand the various aspects of what refuge actually means. And if you follow that part then with wisdom, then also your wisdom will increase over time. So that's another aspect of, of using reasoning to really understand what refuge is all about. Then, uh, with regards to bodhicitta, then we try to uh, contemplate the benefits of bodhicitta and we try to contemplate it in a way that we can increase our kind of experience or development of bodhicitta. And as we know, there's two aspects yeah. to bodhicitta. We have the aspirational bodhicitta and the engaging bodhicitta. And with those two aspects, we try to strive for uh, the liberation of all sentient beings. And then you can think, for example, initially, how wonderful it would be if all sentient beings are free from suffering, and may they be free from suffering. Uh, there's kind of two aspects of the bodhicitta, of the aspiration, so to say, of bodhicitta. And then we try to go a step further and try to generate kind of equanimity towards all sentient beings, to avoid aversion to as though a distance and to uh, avoid attachments to those who are close or have an indifferent feeling towards those um, you don't know. So we try to generate equanimity. And then based on how wonderful it would be that they're free of suffering, may they be free of suffering, right? Two aspects of the actual aspiration. Then we try to generate a kind of responsibility that you are going to do this. And then that responsibility combined with practicing the six perfections is then uh, what we call or consider as the engaging uh, bodhicitta. 
So then the six perfections, as we know, gen uh, generosity, morality, um, the aspects of patience, effort, concentration, and wisdom, we can find in, in various, or similarities we can find in various traditions. Yeah. But here in the Buddhist tradition, we engage in, in generosity, morality, uh, patience, effort, and concentration for the purpose of achieving enlightenment. Yeah? So then it becomes a kind of unique aspect of practicing the six perfections in that way. And we focus upon all sentient beings yeah, in, in Buddhism, and then we use uh, to understand ultimate reality by understanding dependent origination and, and understanding emptiness or the union, as we often say, the union of uh, interdependence and, and emptiness. And that's a very unique aspect uh, of, of the Buddhist doctrine. In a similar way, the aspects of, of the clear light mind are also very unique to the Buddhist, uh, yeah, belonging to the Buddhist teaching. So it's a unique quality of, of the Buddhist teaching, uh, so to say. And then by understanding these aspects of, of bodhicitta, as well as, as wisdom, realizing emptiness and combining it with the six perfections or um, if you understand emptiness well, then you practice the six perfections from within uh, the understanding of emptiness. And then the six perfections, they become extremely profound. And then if you look at those aspects, then you can see how incredibly fortunate it is to be able to practice these things and how incredibly precious it is to practice this. Although it's not always easy, yeah, these aspects of bodhicitta and to work for the benefit of all sentient beings without exception, right? But it is possible. And we should feel very fortunate and feel um, that we have a very precious aspect uh, of the training uh, that we have met. Mm, that's all. Uh, this one's a young. Rounds in a chicken bada, the gents and a tying by tie by your bada, then in Maji, Tinje, Dajin, Yamjizani, Simjiji, Lord Jonesu, Sachimbo, Mobotidua, and this is Nania, Tapatola, Dinji, Dajin, Yamjia, Layatisuda, Maji, Tinje, Layatisudi, Samaloa, Yahuzi, Suzuki, and Kombalaya, Jangyada, Nunjur, Yungala, and it sure Tamjin, Rangi, Druba, never. Anichi, Koran Chugi, Niluk, Tombani, Lavainandra, Zamun twenty days, the Gomba, Jangni, D. Shirapti, Pudichung and Dirindova, Shirap Pudichung and Sidisna, Tombanizo, Tomatonjans, the kind of members of the Kesha Sigmadoa, Shirap Pudichuanji, Niluk Yosso, what told to me? D. Tinga, Koran Yangdala, Chamber Yoba, Koran Yangdala, Zeva, Lana Meva Yoba, Nimba Yang Lana Meva Yoba, Dindigila, and this Samu Tombani. Laya dang, and she carried you with any ya. Dang that's a chimney channing door. This sheer of deep pitcher down. Rangi Druba dirt some year, Marie, Timber, some low dism the chungaina, and Susu in Zimba atti, the shigrua, Zimba atti, Susu Munjura, Niretoa, Mississoala, Zangi, Gitu, Anne, Lenyani, not so busy. You have a song, the song, my lord. Carissu Nichi, Maserva, Kayameva. Materva, Kayameva. And Zangi Gito Reto Layadi, Guna Yoba Tayang, Yotu Jua. 
di jang kisim la me song ai na ke na yo ba de la ni ji ji chu do de la lak sam ji chu do de la ze ba ji chu do di yi lak sam ze ba de pe mi si za chi mo re do di ni de yin za ni mi mi el da ni ni ji ji ya da an ni sim ji le ji kwang de la sam ni do ji chu gi Nangni matui wa chen ni tini, <hesitation> so yeah, we should uh, try to um, again here use wisdom in order to um, understand and develop these aspects of the six perfections, yeah, based on, on the motivation of bodhicitta, and then uh, look at sentient beings who actually. Uh, very vast and like limitless, like the sky. And then we should try to generate these aspects of, of either the instruction of the seven instructions of cause and effect or the instruction of exchanging self for others. And by engaging in these kind of either of these two methods or combined methods, we try to increase and develop, or develop and increase our bodhicitta. And then we should try to focus upon that whole phenomena are basically empty of inherent existence. Yeah? We need the perfection of wisdom and we need a perfect form of wisdom. And when we have this perfect form of wisdom, understanding, realizing emptiness, then we have this kind of unconceivable aspect of the ability to eliminate um, all afflictions uh, together with the seeds. So emptiness uh, is extremely important in order to eliminate the various forms of affliction, afflictions. And if you keep holding on, or the apprehension of a self, then in, in this life, in the future lifetimes, we will meet sufferings and difficulties again and again. So it's very essential to really understand what, what appears to us and what is the reality. And by doing so, and by understanding uh, the ultimate reality of emptiness, we eventually will be able to eliminate all obscurations, the obscurations to liberation and the obscurations to omniscience. So it's constantly important to use the wisdom to understand which mind is kind of mistaken and which mind is uh, correct. And then based on those trainings uh, combined with wisdom, we also try to generate uh, compassion, kindness and aspects like patience. And then by doing so and taking responsibility of all the six types of beings in samsara who are suffering without end, then we should try to progress the best way we can in order to develop and, and be of benefit for the baby of benefit for those limitless sentient beings. Naso Kandanda Naso Jembe Nana Meba Zim Zewadi Chanjukisim Chamba de Zivelo Zangbo Driadi the Missy Kitchen Burin Dola and Susu Tabi Tap Tongbani Karsi Shirap Tongbani Nisungani And Tabi Chuan, Susu Mzinana, Chisonana. And Zazang Chamdu Mzungani, Say the Shovaina, Namjund Zabadi, Zabati Chiguna, and Zabati Chuka, Najirido, Zaba Namju Zabati, and Tombani Hamaori, Nizuka, Zabat Samalo, Manchia, and as a Chura Javanaji, the Nick of the Gun, Gun, Gun. And it got the king, she was a shorting to any say chambojin. And it is with Mamma Jingo, Jim Samma Shane, say Jerry Doa. Then it go Tapazic paint to Galeca Woredoa, Dinaji, Nasu, Ninjung Jaladia, Tamu Ninjung Pussy Rajay, Ninjung Pussy the Jelly, and be the chitin. Any Nesson Dagon Potter, Dramati Ninju, Jasson Rangers, lay at the child. ก็มาตั้งกันแล้วแต่ว่าสิก็สิน่ะก็สิอืมอ่าญิงจุงปุ๊ชิจบะญิงจุงตะกอบาลญิงบุมินโดลานิจิโดเอจิโดงิลอก
So yeah, um, so yeah, it's important to to um, to first of all to generate uh, bodhicitta, right, and then use that bodhicitta combined with uh, method and wisdom, and then we have to practice in stages. Yeah, we cannot practice patience straight away in all circumstances. So we have to go in steps. Like if there's a stream, for example, and you want to. Um, to, to guard that stream or to, to, to let that stream go in particular directions, then you put dams on different places to, to cause the water to flow in a particular direction. So yeah, that, that takes time, right? So practicing patience in that regard takes time. And then it's also very important to, with minds like renunciation, for example, to have a correct understanding of the suffering of samsara, to generate a very genuine understanding of, of, of renunciation. Otherwise, if your renunciation is extremely artificial, you might run off to a solitary place in the mountains, but you will come back very, very soon. And so yeah, it's it's important to 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 make sure that that our patience and practice of patience uh, and renunciation is is stable and, and and genuine. Yeah, we we all sometimes we contemplate a little bit, but we don't do it all the time. So it's not very stable in general. So it's very important to to have kind of a sustainable uh, kind of continuity in that regard, because most of us they want to have something quick and easy. And, uh, but it's also important to generate a very good understanding of these points and, and to make it a more uh, fundamental kind of aspects of stability that needs to be uh, generated rather than just quick and easy. Mm. Mm. あ、人間こう<音楽><音楽> ハッソソランサンヤホウロワ。デレテニニンジランサンジェレ。ディニンジェデ、アニベ、ドシャダマジェバ。ニモンダマジェバ、ペザチムドワ。ハレバ。アニ、セバンママ、ソソギ、タ
the way sentient beings act in a particular negative way sometimes is all rooted in the afflictions, right? So then, while seeing that, while seeing that beings behave in certain negative ways because of afflictions, we actually should think, oh, that is extremely sad to see that. And based on that kind of aspect of compassion, then we see that beings act or when they, something, when they say something uh, unpleasant to you, you should know is based upon these afflictions, and then you should increase your compassion. So if you do it in this way, if you see that whatever behavior sentient beings engage in, that that behavior is rooted in afflictions like either attachment or aversion, for example, then your compassion becomes much more genuine, and then your compassion will be separated from afflictions of anger and attachment. And that's very important to generate a general form of compassion. And by doing so, then one's life becomes much more meaningful, striving for liberation and enlightenment, and try to uh, strive in that way, in a very stable way, by contemplating these points again and again, and understanding whatever uh, harm is being given to you by, by other beings, then understand it's not a person, but it's the affliction that is the cause of all of this. And then our compassion becomes a very genuine form of compassion, because we see that is the afflictions that is the cause. We also see that those beings uh, who uh, say unpleasant things to us, for example, they do not exist from their own side. They're also in the nature of dependence and because of the dependence of afflictions, that's why these things happen. And then also because of the dependence of, of various aspects of cause and effect like karma. And that's exactly why these things happen. So if you contemplate these aspects, then your compassion Regarding to sentient beings, it becomes much more profound. And Tongan Kasi Dunjing <laughs> So yeah, we need um, wisdom and compassion on our uh, parts to, to liberation 
enlightenment in particular. And uh, we know we all strive for happiness, don't want suffering. And so all beings on the world, so to say, we all belong to the same household, you could say, yeah, or to the same family. But you can also look that upon that aversion and attachment if you really analyze well uh, that we're living together in the family, we're living together in the country, we're living together in the same planet, and we not only live together, but we share food together and things like that, and we all want happiness, don't want suffering, but then, by the power of aversion and attachment, we create a lot of difficulties for ourselves and for others. And you can also see the problems in the world also very much uh, are caused by and rooted in these afflictions like aversion and attachment. So that's basically destroying our well-being, and that's basically the cause of all suffering. So what we need is a profound form of wisdom, uh, together, join together with a method to stop these aspects of the afflictions. Yeah, so we need a kind of genuine or profound form of wisdom to eliminate all negativities of the mind and the difficulties we face. We should check, we should always analyze our mind and then we can learn a lot. Because sometimes we say, oh, I did this, or I did that, or, or we have a kind of self-embarrassment, or, or um, you know, like I this, I that. But if you really look, where is this I then? Yeah. Then, if you really look at that as aspect, then it's it's one way very funny that we cannot really find this I, which is the cause for all these problems. Hmm. So, can you carry the Zimba in? Because Zimba is too jingling, right? Zimba drop, Zimba zi, Zimba drop as zi. I'm doing it, and so Jingy in the thing is going in the gym as you was. I'm cutting the same shum, and it's shed on jay, and it's best so so like shed on jay, and it's cutting a jay, car, nashi, raw me by ye, and it's jig me don't into the day laying do, hardly was ye, how much you were shooting with you do. Did some more in Zimba, a tea, shamba tea dinner, and as a young you do, what's a rang in the rim and do. Rangi, then Zimba that the Udila, Drum Meva Sunza, then she reputed you want, Pejuje, Ninja Pudu, Pejuje, and he Lakbar de la Semi Rangi, Nilu, Dara, and a combajeta, no, long day, pa, pe, and Gena, Gay, Nana, la, Shena, she, 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 Jumata was about to cast them the chick or a cocky middle, cause the book or a ranging dara, without a ranging, a woman without a ranging troops and they could have a kitchen giala, simply chin casual. Chick or the young man, simply ranging the sheer mirror, the hago graya. Sachella. So, yeah, we, um, we see that all these types of suffering are rooted in and holding on towards a kind of a true existence, yeah, or holding on to a particular self, or grasping at a self. And by having that, those kind of states of mind, then it's very easy to generate minds like aversion and attachment. So we and then there is no control. Yeah? Then we only create cause for suffering. So this grasping at a self, we need to counteract, and we need to counteract with wisdom. And then with this wisdom also, we should try to generate renunciation and, and bodhicitta. And then by uh, an, an, analyzing the nature of the mind, then we start to see all the things around us, including our body, including our mind, uh, people, afflictions, things around us. We cannot really find anything in an independent way. And we cannot really find an eye. Yeah? So the eye that, that causes all these problems, so to say, is actually not really there. So why should we worry about things uh, that if there's not really an eye to worry about? Yeah, so we always grasp at an eye and then the, the afflictions like anger and, and attachment actually they take us, they take us away, you know, like 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 uh, helpers, but they don't yeah, no help us because I'm Slave, yeah, we can, yeah, we can be slave. So, Rawanda Ranze Kadira Masoye, Semi, Rangin Kadu, Tosuina, Ranze Ras, Ran Rastin, and then Rawandula, and then Jewel and Sugar, 
Dindijidrosa so yeah, it's um, yeah. What we could say slave to the emotions or being overpowered by the emotions, right? The afflictions in this case, and then there is no freedom. Yeah, if you if you really be overpowered by affliction, then there is no freedom. And we know we have the methods to stop that process. We know we have the methods of a precious mind. We know we have wisdom. And with this wisdom, we can really eliminate uh, these aspects of, of the faults of the mind or the afflictions of the mind. And yeah, it's important to understand that because if you give up this type of wisdom, then you know you're just going to end up into trouble. <laughs> Tiran Masonova Tangzi Oh, <laughs> so yeah, in the in the modern times, in the 21st century, and uh, in the West, we see there's a lot of people very much interested in meditation, which in by itself is, of course, very good, uh, but it should be joined with wisdom. Yeah, that's very, very essential. And uh, with wisdom, of course, related with ultimate reality, wisdom using to generate a general form of renunciation and bodhicitta. And then initially we have a kind of more an artificial or contrived form of these understandings of uh, renunciation, for example. And then the more we use wisdom in an analytical meditation, we will come eventually to an uncontrived or form of, 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 body, of renunciation. And that's very important to use uh, wisdom in analytical meditation. And by understanding also that what is really harming us is kind of twofold, right? We, we harmed by the grasping at the self and we harm by the self-cherishing attitude. Yeah. And having these two aspects that harms us, we should have the antidotes to those two aspects. So what are the two antidotes to those two aspects? If you cherish others, if you generate bodhicitta, then that will eliminate the self-cherishing attitude. If you understand emptiness, that will eliminate 
the, the aspect of grasping itself, at itself, or the apprehension of itself. So we see here that bodhicitta helps us to cherish others, and the wisdom helps us to understand emptiness. And those two aspects will eliminate, eventually, uh, the, the grasping at itself and uh, the self-cherishing self attitude. So if we have the two antidotes to this, bodhicitta and the wisdom realizing emptiness, then we try to develop that in a union of the two. And then, whatever we engage in, we should always uh, check our mind and see to which extent is this self-grasping attitude present or not, and to which extent does that develop in aversion or, or attachment, for example. So that's kind of, if you look at these aspects of meditation, these analytical meditations, uh, they're very, very precious, and they, they're very special uh, to, to develop your mind in a very, uh, sophisticated way because yeah otherwise what people have all kind of uh, sometimes misunderstandings of meditation and then they might say they're meditating but then it's the question what are they actually doing so <laughs> Dinan and then so then, uh, yeah, um, we all have some experience probably with reciting different prayers or doing different pujas, yeah, and also in the different centers we do that, and then we know in the Lama Chirpa, for example, also there is, of course, uh, various practices included in the Lama Chirpa, it's very profound, and there's also aspects of the mind training and, and contemplations of the Lam Rim, or the, the prayer, so to say, or the overview meditation of the Lam Rim. And then, yeah, when it comes to the verse that you, you have the verse that you pray to the Guru in order to, for all negative deeds, to, for all sentient beings to ripen upon you, and that all virtue accumulated by you and may that ripen upon all sentient beings. Yeah, so that's a very precious verse. You asked the Guru for blessings to be able to do this Tonglen practice. And then some people, they chant it very nicely and very slowly, but then it's all very important uh, next to the beautiful chants to actually understand the meaning of it and contemplate the purpose of it. <laughs> and then similar aspect of practice, <laughs> practicing patience, if people don't have a general uh, kind of uh, practice of patience and the person puts on some weight and you say, oh, you became fat, then straight away the person can generate anger. <laughs> Tina <laughs> Right? 
Kalau kau kau cium, nak itu macam ni. Kau ini sena, tadi lah kau mian laya dah, di situ sama lawa. Kau, tunggu doh ini kap tunggu terak pada itu de. Ani tunggu ini ngah la jangkap si je, jauh pada itu jangju sen da, cintu ye lap jat itu tak cembur, pada itu ane si lalai si beres na cintu tak cembur siu de doa. Ani kau jasa si cintu so ni kau langi. Ani be. Cuma tamji je, ni lupa dia kena ni tu, ni ni nyamji si sura tu. Macam tu ibu jenjung mah, jadi jauh tu je. Tengok tu tak nak kala, tengok tu cuma ya lah. Macam tu, ngus tu ni jauh tu kau mendo. Jumpa? Mana dah ni? Hari ni tak cembur. Tapi sekarang ni tu cuma ni lupa tu ayat dia, bermesej je, kau cembur. Hari ni baru ni tu, di mana? Di ni Wang Ziju, kan Langsa, Jerem, kala lah ini jauh kala kau mian je, na? Ani susu lah nimba. Ah, gak lah. Nampak suci cembur, yang mana banjo suci cembur, yang mana cik lamro suci cembur. Yang dah hantar nampak cik lor, lewat cik lor, cik itu apa? Di penor itu apa? Nampak lah, ni cik cina sirap kumpet tanah. Zaman ling sama nampak yang susu apa sirap kumpet tanah ni, yang jauh ni mana tu? Satu lutut sini yang jauh mana apa? Jawa. Ani lah di sana. Tung ni ni je zona ni sihat dia macam orang tu. Tapi cik ada, ni cik ada, nampak cik ada. Di di ko Doi ni suka ni cie, ni ngah sanga doi tu ngah cepat tu tu di dewi yang tak sih nampak tu belam kongju, yang ni ni suka tu tu di cepat hal lepas tak sih mesti, tapi mesti tak sih mesti ni suka tu doa, tu tu sama lah, lamian zaman ni sih goyah orang zaman, ni dengar ni cie ngah ni susu jazo ni kongsi cewa ini ada, bu dah kari juga tu tu ngah dewa ini ada kari ni tak apa ni, ni cie tap tap tu. Kompas jadi tu, di sana lewat zaman muda rendah tu lagi, pakcik jaya tu, ini tu rumah jawa, ini yang susu ye, di niam tu la, zaman tu pakcik jaya ni, ane orang ni pemain hula ya ini, dah tengah tu tu, tepat tu, tanang ya bah ini, sangat ini drip tu rende, ngaco yang tepat tanang tu, mesti jurung buat degi mendo, tu sungsa, si ni tepat tu lese, ane tepat tu tanang tu, si ni si ni la, tepat tanang ceru ceru ceru, tepat rap tu, ane cilap rap. Tepat drink, cilap drink, tepat tama lah, cilap tama. Tepat mana cilap mana se, sangat yang cuci nanti. Di sini yang berdaya yang sangat yang cuci de, cuci cuci sudah lah. Tuh ni ni je zona se, ni lah kumjau juga se, rangi kumjau lah, kum dewa juga. Ani je lah je je orang dah kahat se kum mai na, ani je tap tap dewa lah na dia kemarin bawa madu, ani je lo kau yang bu. Lelawa la na jigu ma re da yang Khang dar su su thang che ni ma ji wa zan jigu ma re wa Ma che ayi ngha la ma ji zan ni ki ni yu di ngha thak ji ke Dhamba ji ke dhyan ta drup tap zi dhyan la lung lang de ki tuwa Ta ma te na ngha nye wa che gire che Te na di jim se ma che te di para la bhar to chao ni Di sa ma shirap ka che da Tung ni ni ji ka che da Masa tu lah, ini tuh zaman buat sama lah. Tuh ni ni je zona ni sana zaman buat resiko ni. Ngah, tu tu dia. Ani zaman buat tu sama lah. Tuh ni ni je zona ini tuh ni. Ani zaman buat dia cakap. Ngah, tuh ni je dia. Tuh dah sama lah. Tuh ni ni je. Zaman buat tuh ni je. Kalau tu dia insan ni, ani lupa mereka dia jam tu dia lahir. Ngah, tuh ni ni je dia ngah ni. Masa tu hijau perawat tu dah tepat siapa tu. Cakap sama ini na. Then Point could prove that you must realize 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 that Tak betul, kerja dalam batu na, kerja sam ni tu lorang, tak betul, kerja lorang tu juga mungkin ni tak betul, mesti kumpul cewa ina, ane kalah kau tu, di di nampi cewa ina, dua macam tu lah ya di, tak, tiba tak, tanang semasa ni ni je cewa tak, ya tiba cewa, di ni juga ina nampi cewa itu tak pernah sih dah, di ngasuh sih sebab, ngasuh tak kasih dua minit lah, susu 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 susu, yakshi resah, kengke yakshi tu, tak pernah dua minit. Tapi ni sih, zaman zaman dah, musim zaman dah, dah ibu kata zaman dah, dah ni sih corban zaman dah. Di sini mobile nona yang kedua, 
Yeah, so we, um, yeah, we need to generate and we get uh, these different aspects of, of the training. And uh, depending on, on the kindness of, of the guru, then we try to uh, generate the different aspects of the parts. And it's important to generate a kind of an experience of, of the part, yeah, to really contemplate the meaning of the things we recite, for example. It's very important to develop the mind. It's very important to... To, uh, when you do, for example, deity yoga or different practices or sadhanas or generation and completion stage practices of deity yoga, then it's very important to really understand emptiness well and then dissolve the contaminated coarse aggregates into emptiness and then from within that understanding or realization of emptiness you generate yourself in a deity and that's not easy. You know, these kind of practices are extremely profound but it's not easy but uh, even though when we engage in it, it's very important to, to at least pray and get inspired by those aspects of the practice. And then we will progress based on the correct understanding of it. Otherwise, if you don't have that, then we just do those kind of uh, aspects as kind of material spiritualism or, or ga gaining wealth or gaining reputation yeah? or uh, looking for some temporary benefits. So we need a wisdom that is extremely uh, profound and that gives us the ability to accomplish um, these aspects of the Sutrayana as well as of the Vajrayana. And then we need the union of the two, uh, the union of emptiness with compassion. When we have the union of, of emptiness and compassion, then we have a very profound aspect of the training. And then uh, the generation and completion stage practices are, become very important. Um, to, to be developed. In a similar way, even simple reciting mantras like Om Mani Pemi Hum, it is very important also to really understand what it all means and generate faith in those aspects of, of uh, reciting mantras and doing the various practices. And it depends on faith uh, with regards to the results. If that's a little faith, then the results will be small. Is this kind of a middling form of faith, the results will be middling. And is this great form of faith, then the results will also be uh, very fast. So that's one important aspect. All the way, and then, of course, there's the different activities of the deities. Yeah, we have peace, increase, controlling, and wrathful kind of aspects. So it's a very profound system of, of practice we can find in the Vajrayana practices of deity yoga. So it's very, yeah, it's very essential to, to get a correct understanding and then based on the fate and, and on the wisdom, understanding emptiness with the union of compassion to engage in these kind of aspects. Otherwise, if just reciting various sadhanas because you have the commitment of your teacher or teachers and then without a meaning it just becomes a burden and you recite aside again and again and they become extremely uptight and maybe even become angry. So that's kind of aspects we like to avoid uh, from happening. And to avoid those uh, things from happening we need wisdom and in union with, with uh, compassion and then these kind of practices become extremely precious and then also taking refuge by itself becomes very special so then your meditations will gonna bear fruits you need wisdom you need faith and that will eventually produce realizations and those realizations will benefit you those realizations you can benefit others yeah whatever you engage in if it's retreat if it's teaching if it's service uh, these aspects of faith compassion joined with wisdom are very important aspects of um, the path. And then some people just strive to get certain kind of accomplishments or realizations or types of clairvoyance, but that by itself is not that much profound as it looks like. Because these days in your mobile phone, you can so see so many things already of other places in the world. <laughs> Sadi di go nanima, Zia Yumaro, Mania, Zia Yumaro, Jaja Zia Yumaro, Karjuda, Mane Tane Tenizi, Zunizi, Gutangi Baina, this is Zuji, Karjuguru Taji, 
Sanji Dracha Wonder was the user. I ain't the Nangazo. Ya was the chute, ya was the machines, and Dracha Wonders and Rojas. The Limbo do a midua dealer, chick zomans or does it, some tangroa, till a tongue should have dish him door. The Kainzina, Kunjusum Yande, Abuham was she. Tin Zuma Sharvatia young, and she did some get taba, such a boozy, dear Mashevati, Masuji, Jujim Mambuchi, Taba Dosay, she and Taba Toyala, the Pekishim Boyzero. Lasso Tesunzane, and eh? Ah, come Java in a maso, come retains as you lodi, and eh? Ninjun chance and yanta with our drama the Sungre de la Suzuki Simdinara, and eh? Tanzilla nea, Rang Jinzilla nea, Dinilla nea ye, come, come retain, and eh? Kale, Kale, Kalizilla, Jacom Shiva in a carta, come is rigged drama the Yoroa, Tisan gom Kajila, Kai, some no madam and cheer. Anji, Kajur. Sim de Chete, Sha, that comes the drama to Europe. That Pasha Yuva, Sim Ranji, Shini, Sim Moshini, Nani Sitadero. The Mashiva, you know, Anni Coran Sim Taz, a luge, Jaya de Garanla, Anni Jurumbo, dear to be and dear Anni Cha, Angula is the door. Angu. Lending us the chick to a pono, Angu, Changu, Pay Chudin, Charon Casual Mobuya, Timing Angu, Jeve Chazi, you are Chahangu, Mo Angu, Cha Angu, you Angu, Char Pay Chudin, Charon Casual Mambo, Pabidua. On the Kaha, Dinadi, what should you do to Dido? Chesangazo, come jail on the tin de lichio in a simdi, got a lula de sati, lilisi, the lude, lilisi, simdi, lilisi, and there's a shua negroa, yakudua. Tell a yena young, come tachimbo, chagimidua. Come to the end, eh? Maso, chamba, sewa, de one a shirt putu chunga, the ninja putu chunga, the come to you now, then no more took some de, no rudua. Rua, you want to sum the new Romandana, come jab de vaina, then chimza chick, number embassy, chick, number my embassy, and a come jarash. Charancara de la pet, come jab de la chusa chicks at la cara, de de loom party user, while the jarish or the money sina chums at the temper, ninches the temper yaji, sim, there's a queer umbo, and she carries the bat the temper. Kondo Kaura, Nangwa Jita, Yam T Yamlin de Simla Jerguena, Joa Tesson Zangazo, Com Jedaina, Comdi de Alla, Nangba Yin Room, Nangba Merum, Maso Kunjo, La Yichi Yurum, Merum, Soso Shirab di Yajedana, Shirab di Comdi Chena, Soso Lusimla, Sungjo, Rangi Chimzana, Sungjo, Deva, Jela, Deva. Nega, Deva, Tartu, Deva, Deyang, Mazugi, Rangi go to the Maimba, Tai, Simje, Tang, Jiji, Tunda in the Simkur, Anni, Miss Zambuda, me, Kazur, and Janajibu, the city, Sim, there's a Jachimbo, Kuyambo, Jin, Jachimbo, Tunda la Chivaina, then Mazuji, Gawa deyang, Jibu top chimbo, the Migidua, Kaliba, Nimba, the Tembashi. Sabat the temper, Ning of the temper. Tesson the Nirezoa no, 
Masuki Rangi, Nana, Champada, Zewa, Layadi, Tani? Nimu Tusunda. Nyam to draw a cabla, Lani the Chevaina. Tani, Kale, 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 Tusum the new renew renew regent. Tani? Sim Zangrism, Sim Chambo, Zambo, Comditin, Comditina, Anni Rangi, Semi Rangi. They look digging all the sheep at some genie. Shirty, Pabe. Anni Kungi Yaratona. Dugalamna la, Yagalamna, Lasso, Gatinche, Dugalamna, Lasso, Gatinche, the top of the summer. Mare, Jean? It's so good. The Chatang Chico, I mean, did you come just in a so kiss on door? Jean? Yeah, so then these uh, aspects of the training, and in particular where we just talked about aspects of deity yoga or, or generation states practices, or we have various practices of consecrations when you dissolve the deity in, in a particular statue, right? So there's various aspects of dissolving the uh, wisdom beings and the commitment beings in the different parts of the body or different parts, or in a particular statue or holy objects, so to say. And then for us, it's very important to have the most precious kind of uh, substances for that, for, for having those kind of uh, precious things representing uh, the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, or representing body, speech and mind. Um, in a similar way, we our house, or, or we want to have the best of the best. And sometimes, if you, for example, think about uh, things you like to protect and things you like to keep, then you use then you know if you have something made out of diamonds or, or there's a lot of money, you will never leave alone. You will also protect and respect and keep it with you and, and don't want to be separated from it. So in a similar way, we should see the representatives of the three jewels of refuge, right? Or statues or representative uh, objects of body, speech and mind of the Buddhas. Then either if it's made out of wood or gold or any other form of substance, we should regard them as all the same and not make a distinction between what's precious and what's not precious because they represent the same qualities of the Buddha's body, speech and mind. And not knowing uh, these kind of aspects of the qualities of the three jewels, then, then there is also no real constructive form of fate being generated. So the fate we generate with regards to the three jewels also should be based on wisdom. And this wisdom also should be a foundation for the three principal aspects of the parts of renunciation, bodhicitta and emptiness. And then uh, those kind of uh, three principal aspects of a part, they will become extremely stable. And in a similar way, when we look at the two obstacles we talked about previously, uh, the grasping at the self and the self-cherishing attitude, uh, one's meditations should be focused upon eliminating those two aspects, right? When the meditations we engage in should uh, be focused upon an analytical approach to eliminate the grasping at itself, an analytical approach to eliminate the self-cherishing attitude. Because if you just sit there and you just try to be calm and kind, or sorry, just be calm and not think about things too much, have kind of a non-thought consciousness, unless you're able to recognize the ultimate nature of the mind, then it's a different story. But if you just sit there and you think, oh, I'm meditating now and I'm very relaxed and, and I'm not really thinking about things, so I'm, I'm very, very much meditating. But actually, that's not real meditation. Because if you go to the Bauda Stupa in, in Nepal, for example, you see the pigeons there who come for food, and, but then they can also just sit still for hours if there's no food. So there's not really a real accomplishment if you just sit still in your room without thinking. Yeah, we need a real form of meditation, a real form of an analytical meditation that increases wisdom and compassion and decreases or eliminates the three poisons. So that's kind of the purpose of, of, of meditation. Because if you just meditate and you just think, oh, I'm meditating and I'm very relaxed, and then some part, person comes and disturbs you a little bit, straight away you will get angry. So that's not really the purpose of, of meditation. Uh, we need to use wisdom, we need to use an analytical approach, and that wisdom uh, that helps and protects us is true for believer or non-believer, or for Buddhist or non-Buddhist. If you want to achieve happiness for self and others, or if you want to achieve 
happiness on a temporary level or an ultimate level, you need to depend on wisdom. Uh, so that's true for believer or non-believer. And but for us, we try to combine that wisdom with a vast vision, a vast virtuous vision, vision of working for the benefit of all sentient beings. And then we try to combine that attitude of bodhicitta with uh, practicing uh, patience, yeah, day by day. And then over time, we, we will develop a kind of compassion that is free or separated from attachment. And then day by day, we will increase our capacity to eliminate or reduce initially, reduce the, the three poisons and eventually eliminate the three poisons and develop the good qualities of mind like compassion and wisdom. So yeah, we try to use an habituation pattern that's based on an analytical meditation in order to develop these qualities of mind like love and kindness, compassion, wisdom and patience. By doing so and you habituate yourself over a long period of time, you will definitely able to eliminate the suffering for self and others. Mm. Sangi, <laughs> Yanzopa Anna Shirap Anne Chanju 
Mana itu ni, ni sesuatu kerja urusan zaman ini dia nana, bau ini nana, ni ni ada cuci kau nana, ni ada cuci. Anu di leh ini susu coba dewa, mirsu kau nana, zangsu kau nana, tak kau nana, orang di ni sedo. Tadi ni je, tika lah kau pun jero nana. So yeah, then based on on these kind of meditation techniques, as we just discussed, then also it's very important to make the various prayers or kind of aspirations of, of for example, that all beings may be free of of the those who are, of the feeling of those uh, are close with attachment, and those of distance with aversion, and may all sentient beings always abide in happiness and the cause of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the cause of suffering. Uh, those kind of aspects, but then when we do those kind of prayers, if all sentient beings may be free of suffering and the cause of suffering, then it's also important to contemplate not just suffering, but the, the, the root cause of suffering. And then, well, in particular, the root cause of suffering being the innate grasping at a self. Yeah? So then it becomes a very profound aspect of, of a wish to free all sentient beings from uh, their sufferings. So free them from the, the apprehension of a self together with the imprints. Yeah. And by doing so, then we try to make our renunciation and compassion and understanding of emptiness more profound and, and more genuine, and then try to see all phenomena in the nature of being empty of inherent existence. And then, if you look and you train yourself in those ways, then there's actually only happiness to be gained. And that's by itself extremely precious if you contemplate these points. Um, if you recite mantras, same thing. If you really use wisdom to analyze the meaning of like, for example, the Omani Pemi Hom mantra, then if you really contemplate the meaning and see the preciousness of that, then uh, the mantra has greater benefits. Yeah? So if you think about Om, for example, seeing all phenomena or the nature of all phenomena in, in, the, in the nature of emptiness, for example, yeah, the pure aspects of all phenomena. With Mani, you, you contemplate uh, compassion and, and bodhicitta, or the mind of enlightenment. Uh, with Mani Pema, uh, you, you reflect upon the emptiness of, of inherent existence. Yeah? And then with the silver whom you contemplate that method and wisdom are to be practiced in a non-dual way. Yeah? So they have to practice in union uh, together. If you, in that way, contemplate the mantra and recite the mantra, Om Mani Pemi Yum, then your recitations becomes extremely profound. Uh, so putting these things into practice and understanding these very profound aspects of the part, then you can see how incredibly fortunate we are to have found this very profound part of the Buddhist doctrine. And then we try to generate bodhicitta and accomplish eventually enlightenment, right? The two syllables we have in Tibetan of Jiang Chup, and those two aspects refer to incomplete enlightenment of having eliminated all faults and having acquired all qualities. And then by having done so, then also one has the three qualities of Buddhahood, right? Of knowledge, of omniscient mind, uh, compassion, and the ability to help um, all sentient beings, or the capacity to help all sentient beings. So, um, by understanding these points and understanding the qualities of our mind, because our mind has all those potentials within, and we have to develop them. So we should make a commitment for ourselves to now, until we die, that we put effort in this direction, and that we put effort in purifying negative deeds, that we put effort in the accumulation of virtue, and there's no more profound uh, method than generating bodhicitta. Because bodhicitta is a very sophisticated mind to actually accumulate a huge amount of virtue and to purify the mind. And then when we, do in, when we practice in that way, we become the real heroes and heroines, and that's kind of things we should contemplate. So please try to contemplate these points as we come to an end of today's uh, event. So uh, yeah, I'd like to request to you to please put these points into practice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went a bit over time. Because, uh... <laughs>
So please uh, dedicate, right, that we offer our practice uh, to all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and dedicate all the virtue uh, we have accumulated today and for aspects of world peace, but also for the long and healthy life of His Holiness Dalai Lama and for all his wishes to be spontaneously fulfilled and for all sentient beings to generate bodhicitta and the understanding and realization of emptiness in their minds. Thank you.